what is going on everyone so today i'm going to be showing you on how to make a functional snap circuits amplifier and it works i use it every day and i like sirens so this makes my speaker louder so here's what you need you need two battery boxes a speaker uh seven twos four ones switch two threes one four amplifier ic snap circuits um clamp wire you get this in the deluxe i'm pretty sure two black snap wires and two red snap wires an input device which is a phone or a computer or something like that and an output speaker so yeah let's get building okay so the first step take your two battery boxes and place them in the two bottom corners like this Next step, take a on off S1 switch and place it in between the two battery boxes like this. Next step, take the four and place it on the left battery box so that it's facing upward like this. Next step, take the speaker and place it right above the on off switch so that it's facing towards the on off switch like this. It's so that you can see the holes. Next step, take the amplifier IC, place it right above that speaker so that you can see the text and it's not upside down like that. Next step, take a two and place it right under the four, right in the corner like this. Next step, take another two and place it right on top of the other two so that it's also touching the amplifier in the top left corner, like that. Next step, take a two and a one. Take the one, place it on the left side on the speaker, like this. See that? Then place the two on top of the one. Next step, take a red snap wire and place it right on the bottom left corner and push it and take off one of the twos and slide it through. Just like this so that it's going through that two. And then place the two on top of the red snap wire, just like that. And then the next step is we're gonna take a black snap wire and place it on top of the two on the top left corner. Take off the two, place it under the two, put it back on, and there we go. Just like that. So you see it's going outside of here. And now next step, take a three, place it on top of the black snap wire. Take a two, yes. place it underneath the three. Take one more two and place it underneath that two. And then place it on top of the right side of the speaker. Next step, take a three, place it on the right battery box so it's facing up. Take a two, right under the three, and then take another two so it's touching the, the, the bottom right corner of the amplifier IC. Next step, the three with the bunch of twos might fall off. So you might have to put this two on top of the three. Like so, so you see the two. Next step, place another two underneath the two and then put a one on the right side of the speaker. Then connect the two to the one like that so that it's connected to the speaker. And now the next step is to take another red snap wire and connect it to the other red snap wire so that it extends it. So now it's extra long. And do that the same thing with the other black snap wire. And there we go. Now we have extra long snap wires. The circuit's all done. 
So the next step is to take your output speaker device, take the red wire and place it on the red. Take one of the one blocks and place it on top so that your speaker is right on that red snap wire so that it's touching the red snap wire and it doesn't fall out. And do the same with the black. Take the end of the black snap wire, put the end of the black wire on top of the black snap wire and place a one so that it stays right inside. And now the speaker's hooked up. Next step is to take your crimp wires. Hold on just a second. Take the crimp wires. Take off the two where you slid the uh, red and black snap wire through and slide through the black and the red. Just like that. And there we go. Slide the wire through and close the two again. It's so that this has a, a strong connection so that it doesn't fall out. Place the black, open up the black crimp wire and place it on the three, which connects to the speaker. Take off the three and place the red crimp wire on the top middle snap. And there you go. It's all done. So if I bring everything closer, you can see the red is connected to this one. Or and the black is connected to this. Just like that. Then all you have to do is take the end of the crimp wire and connect it to an input device, like a computer or a phone. Turn on the computer or phone. Just letting it turn on here. There we go. And now I'm gonna take you and let's show you what's gonna happen here. Alrighty, so it's 12 o'clock, so it's just in time. I can sound a noon test. So open up your sound. See, it's 12.30 seconds. So let's do the noon test here. Turn on the switch and do the noon test. Wait, what's going on here? It's connected. Oh, I have to reset the prog program. Um, turn on the, the uh, make sure it's on full volume, and here we go. Hmm, that sounds weird. If it sounds like that, let's fix it. All right, so just so you guys know, you need to make sure these batteries are all fully charged or this will not work because I just tried it, as you see, and it didn't sound good at all. So now let's do the noon test. Here we go. See, much better. It's very loud. Let's see it. Here we go. <laughs> he turned the switch off. As you can see, that switch turns the power off. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna show you something. So as you see, he demonstrated, this switch turns the power off. So when you're sounding it off, time, see, it turns it off. See, so pretty cool function. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. And this is how to make an amplifier for your siren or speaker. And it works. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.